Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. I have been to Aldi this week for our food shop. Um, it's quite a big one because I'm hoping this is going to last us two weeks. We are away next weekend, so I don't need anything for them. And my husband is working away for a couple of weeks, Monday to Friday, so he won't be here for dinner. So my plan is to have some slightly quicker, easier things for me and the boys. They like pasta bake and things like that. So I've got some slightly quicker dinners. And also I'm going to batch cook some bolognese this week and freeze some portions of that for us to have. So yeah, it's a slightly bigger one. Um, but like I say, I'm hoping to stretch it for a bit longer. And instead of a grocery haul next week, I have got some bits to do a Aldi versus branded taste test with uh, me and the boys. And I think my husband will be the cameraman. So yeah, that will be on my channel next week instead of the grocery haul. So yeah, slightly bigger. Um, I've struggled to squeeze it on the table, but I will share with you what we got. As always, the price will be on the screen at the end, and then I will share with you our meal plan. So let's get into it. Okay, so starting with the fresh bits, I've got two bunches of bananas. i got some wonky blueberries for a change. Henry really likes blueberries, and he's the only one really, so I haven't been buying them, but I thought it'd be nice. Oh, there's a manky one in there. I thought they would be nice for him for a change. I've got Archie, his usual Granny Smith's apples. And then I already have some grapes in the fridge and some oranges left and a few of the red apples left from last week. So I thought if I need to, I will go and pop and maybe just get some more fruit and some more milk if I run out. So that's all I've got for this week. And then veg, I got some asparagus tips because they were on their super six deal got a head of broccoli got some button mushrooms i've got a sweet potato for a recipe that i'm doing got some baking potatoes i think these were on offer for 99p so yeah i love baking ones because they're so handy for everything really and lunches and stuff so i've got those I've got some of the wonky red onions. I normally buy the three pack of the bigger ones, but these seem like a lot better value. So I got those ones, they're a bit smaller. And then I've got some peppers. So I've got a pack of the mixed peppers and then I've got an extra red pepper as well because I needed about four and I was gonna buy two packs, but these were about 40p. So I thought I'd just get a single one. I've got some of the wonky carrots and a cucumber hiding down there. And then I've got our usual four pints of blue milk. I've got a large orange juice. I need some for a recipe, so I've got a big one this week. And then got some cartons of apple juice because Archie is going to swap to be packed lunches in a couple of weeks. So I've got some apple juice for that got my husband his usual yogurt so we've got the thick and creamy strawberry just got one pack because like I say he's working away next week so they'll just be for the next few days and then I've got some of the choc pops they're going to be part of the taste test but the boys do always have them anyway got some British free range eggs and then the meats I got so I've got some chipolata sausages and some of the large reduced fat sausages. So we've got a couple of dinners. Um, on Sunday, for a change, I've got a pork fillet and I've got some sage and onion stuffing in the cupboard. So I'm going to cover this with stuffing and then wrap it in streaky bacon and do that in the oven and then slice it. So. If you'd like to see that one, it will be on my Meals of the Week video and we will be having that on Sunday. I've got a large steak mince. So this one is a kilogram. Like I say, I'm going to do it bolognese and freeze some portions just so that next week it's a bit quicker to just pull out some bolognese for me and the boys and just cook some spaghetti to go with it. I've got a Big Daddy steak um that's for a recipe i'm going to be slicing that up so 
it looks a bit fatty, but when I slice it, I can remove the fat. Um, so I've got that one. I've got a large pack of the chicken breast fillets. Um, that will hopefully do us three dinners, maybe two. Um, so I'll try and stretch it to three if I can. So I've got that one. And then I'll just finish the chilled bits before I move on to the cupboard. So I've got some British cooked ham and some extra mature cheddar. And then two of these um, essentials garlic to get. Um, they're only about 30p and we find them absolutely fine with dinners. So yeah, just got a couple of those. I'll probably stick them in the freezer um, and then they'll be there for whenever we want them. You can just cook them from frozen. So yeah, I will do that. And then the cupboardy bits, I've got some of the Cookie Bites cereal, three tins of chunky chopped tomatoes, two of the tomato and herb pasta bakes so we'll do one this week and one next week i've got a couple of tins of baked beans and some beans and sausages um i've got a essentials pasta sauce i'm not too sure what i'm using that for but i thought it might be nice to do a pasta dish maybe with the sausages in it would be handy to have in the cupboard um and rustle something up with that I've got some paprika for a recipe and some lemon juice for a recipe. And then I've got some of the spaghetti. I normally get the cheaper one, but they didn't have any. So I've got that one. I've got some tomato puree and some of the penne pasta. And then the snacky bits. It looks like quite a lot, but some is for the taste test and some is for pet lunches. And some is just because... Well, I like snacks really. So I've got some wine gums. I've got the boys there, rice cakes. I've got some of the seal bars, which are basically penguins for Archie's lunch. I've got some rum and raisin and nut chocolate. My husband loves rum and raisin ice cream. And I saw that and I thought that might be quite nice to try. I've got some raisins for pet lunches some chocolate fingers and some jam and cream rings for the tin and then oh there they are some breadsticks as well because I do like to try and give the boys like breadsticks or rice cakes or something after school rather than just sweets and then got some more tortilla chips for um lunches got a vegetable oil and then the bakery bits, I've got our usual two loaves of 50-50 bread. I've got some of the small sliced rolls for pat lunches. I'll probably just put those in the freezer. And then some chia batter rolls for a recipe that I'm doing. And then the freezer bits, I got some Yorkshire puddings. I've got some steak and gravy pies. Some chunky breaded cod and some chicken kievs and then i've got some sweet corn some crinkly chips and then a deep pan pepperoni and an american hot pizza but we might have a pizza night this weekend um before my husband goes away and um i also got a bottle of rosé as well that was really i think it's about five or six pounds and it looks really nice so i got that as well so we'll probably have some pizza and my husband and i will probably have some wine and beer and then the puddingy bits i got the boys some whirls which are basically mini twisters and i got us a sticky toffee pudding to have on sunday we've already got ice cream in the freezer and then the only other non-food items i got hiding are a shower gel and duke his usual dentist sticks i'm surprised actually he's not in here sniffing around but i think he's too busy um barking at the window and things so yeah that is everything that i got this week 
and I will put the price on the screen for you now and then I will share with you our meal plan. Okay, and here is a look at our meal plan. So tonight is Wednesday. We're going to have a Mexican pulled chicken recipe using a Simply Cook spice pot that I've got. We're gonna have that in the chia batter rolls and have it with some sweet potato wedges. That's Duke, as always, munching behind me. Um, tomorrow I'm going to cook the spaghetti bolognese and batch cook that, so I'll freeze half. For next week and then friday we're going to have the pizza night and me and my husband will probably have a couple of drinks and then saturday we're going to have sweet chili crispy beef um it's a dumpling sisters recipe so when i make that i will link it down below um it's really tasty so i'm going to use that big daddy steak and chop that up and use that for crispy chili beef on Sunday, I'm going to do a roast and I'm going to use the pork fillet and put some stuffing and wrap it in bacon. So that will be on Sunday. And then on Monday, we'll probably just have a quick and easy one, which will be chicken Kievs. And we'll either have it with chips or mash or whatever the boys fancy, really. Probably mash and beans um, with that. And then Tuesday, we will have one of the pasta bakes and have that with some garlic bread. And then... Yeah, that will be back to Wednesday again. And then, like I say, I've got a lot of stuff. So, um, just briefly, next week, we are away for the weekend. And then me and the boys, I've got a recipe for a sausage and potato stew. And then we probably have a, another pasta bake with garlic bread one day. And we've got those pies. So, we'll probably have a pie and mash one day and then use up the rest of the batch cooked bolognese one day. So it'll be a nice, easy week. Um, so yeah, I probably won't do a grocery haul next week. Like I say, I will put the taste test one up, but um, I will still do our meals of the week. So yeah, that is a look at our meal plan this week. And as always, thank you so much for watching and tune in for meals of the week on Wednesday and I'll see you in my next one. Thanks guys, bye.